Okay, this is a video review of the Humax HD Fox T2. It's a Freeview HD uh, receiver uh, designed for use in the United Kingdom. Um, obviously, I'm using it for receipt of the Serview Irish Digital Service uh, in the Republic of Ireland. I'm located in Dublin. And uh, the Serview service rolled out actually a number of months ago. Um, now, this box is a Freeview HD box, I know I said that before, but I just want to make it absolutely clear that only Freeview HD boxes um, are Serview compatible. Um, the Freeview standard definition boxes, which are available quite cheaply uh, at the moment on the web, unfortunately they are not compatible whatsoever with the Irish Digital Service, so buying them is a, is a, you know, it will result um, in you being able to receive um, no television stations it has to be a Freeview HD box. Now this one is a fairly decent one. Uh, the features, the main features, and the main reasons that compelled me to buy it were the USB um, PVR functionality, which is essentially personal video recorder functionality. So you hook a hard drive up to this, and it gives you the same functionality as the likes of a Sky Plus or a UPC Digital Plus box in that you can record, rewind, fast forward, pause live television and schedule recordings. Now it is a single tuner. Now what that means is essentially that um, there is only one tuner in this box. Now for reasons which are I suppose a little bit complicated I'll try and explain. Um, Ireland is currently transmitting stations on one multiplex um, or one MUX, one MUX. Um, therefore a single tuner at the moment in Ireland gives the same functionality as a dual tuner and what I mean by that which I'll demonstrate in a second is that it is actually possible to record one station and watch another so I can record RT1 and watch RT2 or indeed any of the other stations that are actually broadcast on Serview and the only reason I can do that with a single tuner at the moment is because all of those stations are coming in on the same multiplex or MUX um, there is going to be a second MUX launching at some stage in the near future. Uh, we don't know when, and uh, historically Serview have been somewhat limited in actually um, giving us dates, exact dates, as to when their services will launch. When that second multiplex launches, um, that will essentially change the game slightly for this box anyway. Um, once the channel list is split over two multiplexes, or MUXs, um, it will only be possible to record a station and watch another station provided both of the stations in question are on the same MUX or MUX. So in other words, for example, say if RT1, RT2 and TV3 are all on Multiplex 1, then I can record RT1 and watch TV3 or RT2. Um, if TG4 is on the second Multiplex, I won't be able to watch that while I record a channel from the first multiplex. Now there are twin tuner boxes available but they are very costly. Uh, would be an understatement actually. They are over £300 sterling. Um, certainly in the Humax range. There are cheaper ones available. I've seen them for about €170, €180 Euro, uh, online. But these are usually factory seconds or open boxes. Obviously you can have a look around. But at the moment uh, this single tuner uh, personal video recorder functionality on this Umax box to be honest with you is fine and I consider it to be future proof and uh, it's a very very decent box which I'll demonstrate now so you know, it just takes a second for the box to actually come on you can see the box there I should mention very quickly that when you, if you buy this box now um, when it comes out when, when it comes out of your house, when it arrives, it will require a firmware update. I'm just going to mute that. Uh, it will require a firmware update uh, in order to actually function as a personal video recorder. When this box first came out, it didn't actually come with that functionality as standard. By as standard, it was actually just a, a viewer as opposed to a recorder. Now, they later released uh, firmware for it, which upgrades it. To being essentially a, a single tuner recorder as we've discussed um, but you will need to download that and you will need to install now there's very simple instructions online 
uh, on humaxdigital.com. You can do a search for it on Google, you'll find the website and you can then actually have a look and see, uh, download the latest firmware, install it on your box and you will have then the full recorder functionality and the set of instructions on the manual and on the way for doing that. First thing I'd like to demonstrate there is the electronic program guide. So on the Humax remote there, which is a fairly standard, uh, it's a universal remote, but it is a fairly standard uh, Digibox style remote. We have a guide button, which I simply press and I'm presented with the, it's essentially, it's, it's branded as Freeview, but it is essentially the, the Serview electronic program guide. Okay, now one thing, and this is probably the only real downside of this box that I can actually report, um, is that because this box is designed for the UK, it is essentially expecting that when you tune in your stations, that your first station you'll receive will be BBC One, uh, the second will be BBC Two, and so on and so forth. So unfortunately, when it picks up the Irish service, it basically dumps the Irish channels way outside the standard channel numbers and they start actually at channel number 800 okay and the way that they will appear certainly if you're tuning in in Dublin and I think for most of the country it'll be the same uh, you've got RTE1 you can see them there and if I just actually go down RTE plus 1 is 807 now if I switch over to the radio guide that starts at 808 and goes down to 8.17. Now, to be honest with you, that's unavoidable. And uh, I suppose some could actually complain and say that that is, a, that is a drawback of using this particular box. To be perfectly honest with you, it doesn't bother me at all. Uh, I have no issue with it. And to be, I mean, the, I suppose the reason is that it, this box ignores any missing channels. So essentially, although it doesn't, although it obviously, it starts at 800, it doesn't go looking in the 100s or 200s for channels at any stage. And you'll never have the box turn on saying no signal until you switch over to RT1. Essentially the only channels it tunes are the only ones it's concerned with. So they're the only ones it ever displays. Uh, the electronic program guide there, if we jump through it, I mean, it's very, very simple to use. It's very like the, the, uh, the likes of a skybox. I can click information. Uh, I get up essentially an information box on whatever particular program I've selected. I, I can jump forward in terms of two hours. So just moving into tomorrow there. Uh, or I can jump forward in terms of days. I can move up to Wednesday and then Thursday and then Friday. And the full guide is there. I can also set recordings. So if I see there that I'd like to record, I'll just find something. Uh, for example, say Coronation Street, which I don't watch incidentally, but this is an example. Uh, on Friday, I just simply click, I select it, first of all, and then I click the record button. And I'm presented with the option to record the whole program. So I click yes. And that's the, that is now scheduled to be recorded. Now, the other Obviously, I just want to demonstrate for you very quickly, if I can, the fact I'm on TV3 at the moment. If I click the record button, you can see it starts recording, and it reminds me that I am, in fact, recording then TV3. Um, if I bring up the channel list, just aside from the EPG for a second, just to show you that function as well, we can always see that the channel is recording by the red circle appearing beside that channel. So currently TV3 is recording. Now I can go over and watch TG4. And it's got the Wimbledon on there. But you can still see that the red light remains next to TV3. And that's indicating that even though I'm watching TG4, it is in fact recording TV3. Okay, so that functions perfectly as said as a it, it functions as a twin tuner. Okay? You'll also notice that it picks up RTE2 as being a HD channel. Now, in the UK there's obviously a number of different HD channels. Over here we're not as lucky. Um, the list function there gives you the option. You can create favourite sections. To be honest with you, I, I kind of find it pointless at the moment, but I'm going to show you the function anyway. 
that's your television list. You can still see it's recording TV3 there. Just for clarity, we can jump over to RTE News. So I am watching RTE News now, and TV3 is still recording again. You can see it with the, the, the red uh, circle there indicating it's recording. So we can then move over the list. The options in the list, and you might not be able to see them clearly because it's very bright here. Um, the options in the list are TV, 